guys and welcome back to the monthly spotlight we hope you had an amazing month with your raids and this month we're going to be speaking with bash one of our game developers on his journey with the company along with the creator spotlight and your shipping container encounters for the top five with all that being said enjoy Hey there viewers, Sol here. I want to provide some warning or context with this interview. Bash's pet bird decided to flaunt their singing skills the entire interview, so apologies. I will try my best to minimize it, but nonetheless, enjoy the interview. Can you share your journey with us from when you first joined the company to your current role and how has your role and responsibilities evolved over time? So I started as a contractor almost straight out of college and proud to be one of the first uh, people to be on the team. I, I'm actually, I've been here since day one. I was a contractor first, and that evolved into a full-time game development role. Um, and with that, the responsibilities also have kind of gotten more serious. I started off with like tiny little tasks here and there with a lot of question asking and a lot of being lost and not doing knowing what I, what in the world I was doing. It's gotten a little better than that now. But it's been uh, smooth to say the least. Can you highlight some of the most significant milestones or achievements you've been a part of during your time at the company? Oh, I've been through all of them. We grew from less than 10 people to now over 20 with a lot of growing pains. We launched um, at the launch party last, not last year, this year in, in March. We didn't even know if we were going in the store, like on the app lab until the day before we were supposed to launch. So that was, that was huge. Um, a really big one is recently we got nominated to VR Game of the Year for VR Game Awards. That's probably the biggest thing that I'm, I'm proud of. Even just the nomination itself is, is pretty big for a tiny little company that we are. I agree. It's a very, very huge milestone. Awards in general are nice. <laughs> <laughs> yes, for sure. <laughs> I can I can say I published a game and I can say I published an award winning game maybe. Cross your fingers. <laughs> <laughs> can you discuss any favorite or memorable features that you've worked on and the impact they had on you, the company, and the community? Oh man, it's it's been a lot of features. I think the the most interesting one uh, that had a lot of impact was determining who killed you. The end screen. Um, it used to be you, you just die and you have no idea what happened. Was it a scab? Was it a player? Who was it? It got really personal once that feature got added. All the hatred flowing from player to player now. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Not even for sure. <laughs> Who to, who to it's that guy direct the hatred to yeah i set up like the very very first initial guns then we changed it into it used to be like really lengthy progress to add new guns to the game and um i updated that and made it into kind of like a spreadsheet that you need to fill out in order to add a new gun for the most part unless it needs extra specific logic, but most guns don't. Um, so that was that was really big for saving us a lot of time when we were setting up new guns. I, know, I don't know if I want to mention this, but the initial jank gun wall. I can remember as junk as it was. Um, it was an amazing feature though. Yeah, people really liked it. Um, it was like a lot of screenshots started flowing in with people having different setups of their gun walls and they were showing it off and it was amazing in general the entire like the stash system how people i love seeing how people organize their uh their bunker it's it's very unique and different with every bottle yeah the gun wall is an amazing feature don't don't give yourself some more credit <laughs> a lot of people worked on the gun wall. It was, we thought it was easy. It turned out to be a monster. Still got some kinks in there, but it's, it's coming out. Still. Yeah, yeah. It's still work in progress. Yeah. The whole game is. The whole, whole game is, yeah, exactly. We're still in beta. Come on. Give us, give us a break. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Lastly, what advice or insights would you offer to aspiring game developers or those looking to build a long lasting career in the gaming industry, specifically for VR? I would say portfolio, portfolio, and again, portfolio. <laughs> nobody, nobody really believes people these days. Like, oh, I made this game. Well, prove it to me. Or I have these XYZ skills. 
the, the best way to show it is to actually show it um, in a game that you have made. Um, if you're an aspiring game developer, the best thing you can do is make games. I don't know, depending on the person, um, if you're the kind of person that likes writing about what you're doing or making, maybe making some kind of content, making videos, making articles about what you're working on, mm -hmm. um, that's a big visibility thing that helps people plus it's really easy to forget what you've done over over the period of time like i had to really sit and think about the features that i've implemented when i had to talk about like an incubator report of features and like actually had to go through my history of um permitted work to be able to remember it but if if i had like a devlog or something that would have been easier um but yeah. yeah the proof of your work is the the biggest deal in order to be able to get in and stay in i'd say that's amazing advice especially with nowadays right where like some some companies like despite you having a degree or something you know sometimes they won't get you uh that's just companies in general i went and i went to a gaming school and I struggled after graduating. I, I, I struggled finding work uh, like the first few months because my portfolio wasn't really well put together. And until I could actually have my work in a way that can be easier and shown off, I, I didn't get a job. Well, thank you for the inter taking time out of your day to do this. Appreciate it. Uh, no problem. Yeah, we'll provide context in the beginning that the uh, your your bird <laughs> is, is is in the video <laughs> it's okay I'm it's so okay sorry. send me a picture of your bird and i'll, I'll put it in there like I'll, I'll say in the beginning yeah you might hear the bird you might hear bash's bird the creator spotlight for the month goes to alpha bro vr alpha bro vr has been an outstanding member of the community since we've launched into early access with their boa activities and now moderator status he's grown exponentially and has been pushing out outstanding content what are the odds I crash right when there's players right there? That was pretty crazy. I just started taking shots too and I thought it was a Fennec. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, that's such a good nade. Oh, nice, somebody clip dude. it. Oh, that's a good one too. What the fuck is happening? Ooh, thanks, Crowder. Thanks. So. Thanks, Chaos. I think that one got him. Boys. Well, well, well. They're sad right now. That's, uh, that one on your left, that's my gear tech. Oh, so he uh, did I had find a purple, you. I had a purple hidden at the top. No, you didn't. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 you can't even see it. You can't <laughs> The guy didn't even know for sure. Make sure to visit Alpha Bro VR if you haven't already and show him support from the Combat Waffle team. With all that being said, let's head right into the top five. Hello there. Listen, mother You are not gonna live. Ah, <laughs> oh, shit. Here we go again. <laughs> that Bro, that was ain't good. no way. Wow. You can right. shoot through the crates? Yes, you can. What a G. What? Man. What yes, a G. Can, Bro. Bro. I thought people knew this. No, I uh, didn't even know this. I just well, can't. Yeah. Be. Oh, 
Oh. He did. He definitely did. <laughs> I I work here and I don't know this. Oh no. <laughs> he, he definitely did. Oh yeah, I don't think they Lay should be. Though. But no, uh, I mean it does it does make sense really that they not, are because like the, the your life. yeah they're not that thick. You should be able to shoot through. So it does make sense. It's cool that there's the bullet holes there. I would I, like I would that. assume it would depend on the firearm though. But still, yeah, anyway. for sure. Yeah, that's, uh, de that definitely cool. works. That yeah. Was cool. <laughs> yeah, like uh, nine mil definitely shouldn't penetrate. I wouldn't think, but yeah, oh, like that is. <laughs> You're not gonna live, he said, <laughs> and then dies. <laughs> yeah, that, right. yeah. Didn't even finish the sentence. <laughs> <laughs> Did he really? Did it? Yeah. He said, Listen, yeah. <laughs> Listen, you are not gonna live. <laughs> I didn't even really notice that until you just brought that up. That's amazing. This is you one of the best like container clips I think I've ever seen. Like you think his friend would start shooting through once he saw his friend die through it. But right? No. Right? Like this dude, what is he doing over there, dude? What is this guy doing? He's just popping a squat with the laser stick. Like, yeah. what his are you doing, through. my guy? <laughs> At least, I at least would have hid behind the tree. Like, what are you? Like, right, what this, kind of... this dude's like straight out in the open with a, a tier five chest rig and one of the poopiest helmets in the game. Yeah, that's a. That's a. <laughs> maybe, <laughs> maybe he was confident, <laughs> just super confident that oh, I can get this guy. Bro know. was radiating. Like a cool encounter that can only happen in Ghost of Devor. Like, there's nothing else in the VR space that creates for this type of tension. This is just insane. I love the little the little meme at sound effects you put in there. <laughs> yeah, add, add, boy. Add that, just a small bit of flair. Yeah. The bit that really got me was when he, he threw the vest away at the very beginning. Like like a Sweet. mild panic sort of thing. It was like floppy, you can't even get it close. <laughs> and then it also like dang, this is this is fantastic. I'm excited to see what the next ones are. If this is fifth place, what do we have today? Yeah. Holy cow. All right. Speaking of, let's go to the next one. Is that it? Is that it? I guess it's just big old looty loots. Yeah, Short, I sweet, think... to the point. You know, you, you um, can't complain too hard. I'm just kidding. No, no I right. just... He was just so I... casual about this dealing out death bad. there. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Oh, okay, that there's, was... there's somebody in there. I guess, this... I'll, I guess I'll kill him. That is the calmest I've ever seen a person walk up to the airdrop. This dude's like, yeah. la da 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 I'm on an island with 12 people that could absolutely murder me. I'm just going to walk straight in the front door. Oh, this no. This guy <laughs> like... definitely should have jumped him. <laughs> Like these guys also, they, like what are they doing? He's just he just has his gun on his chest. He's yeah. hoping for the best with his what, a, a pistol or something. <laughs> and this other dude's Wait, like, I, yeah, I'm. Talks, a... I bet he talks and he's a friendly. He's a friendly. Don't worry, we can split the loot. There's enough for all of us. We can't carry it all. Well, they Come on, surely not. They should have spoke up sooner, because <laughs> uh, that Maybe they is were trying place. and their mic was muted. They didn't. They were like newer or something. <laughs> this here is a faith of face of pure. Rut row raggy, like this is uh, <laughs> definitely the calmest person I've ever seen in Tabor in general. Let That's alone, gonna serve going him well. To I bet it does. Whatever anti anxiety medicine this dude takes, hit me up. Like, seriously, that is, that is... What, what kind of what kind of liquor is he drinking? Is my question. <laughs> <laughs> Some liquid courage going on. He's just like liquid casual, you know, liquid coolness. <laughs> This is for Tweak. Wait, how the fuck did Tweak post a community sub this morning? And he already has 32 oak boats. I posted mine like four days ago and I only have 20 crying emoji.
Wow, I never want to be on this map with Raven. Holy crap, dude. <laughs> Look at the steady hand. This man. bro oh is goodness. cracked. This cracked on the quest. Yeah. On the quest yeah. with the AWM. Like, that is. Oh. This is. I can contain myself on the views. <laughs> I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I had to mute my mic physically. I had to like, like touch the button. Uh, pew, pew, pew. <laughs> Using that dirty like uh, offhand grip. <laughs> oh my god! I like the, the atrocity. Just, just no recoil either. It's just it is like that. Oh my goodness! It works. This, it works. Wow, Weird. this dude knows what's up, knew what to do, where to shoot, and like, how, how do you? I, I don't know if he's using a stock. A, is he using a stock? Cause like, man, cause look, look um, before the shot. I feel here. like it. Oh, oh one, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, watch, okay, okay, okay. Hang on. Watch, yeah, watch he, him like grip it. Yeah, yeah. He's got. He's got to be using a stock. There ain't no way. Yeah, right there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's got to be. Raven, let us let us know if you're using a stock or if this is freehand. Because like, if it's freehand, like I'm giving you a crayon drawn award. Like that's, I mean, it's, it's nothing special, but like I'll, I'll I'll draw it up for you. I'll draw it out of crayons for you. This very yes, much deserves the spot it got. Yes, it, it, it counts. It counts. I just completely forgot it existed. <laughs> that shot, that shot got me. Yeah. Like that one, I was like, ain't no way he's hitting that one on the ladder. Like, boom. Domes them. I need more pew pews now. Pew 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 pew. Yeah, I need more pew pews. <laughs> maybe maybe I one can, of these I weeks we'll it. <laughs> maybe one of these weeks we'll do it where your submission has to be like no game audio. You have to only build it with uh, meme oh sounds. Oh my god, that would. Just, I don't know about that. <laughs> Let us know in the comments if you think you would do it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Please. If you if you want to do that, yeah, definitely. Let us know. Dude. Water. <laughs> Note oh. to self, you start shooting at it, just I'm pretty sure Alpha I'm pretty sure Alpha ended up dying and someone else found all the loot. Did you uh, watch this stream? <laughs> no, I this? went into the community top vote and someone posted a screenshot of like all the loot in there and he wasn't there. Yeah, it's it's like right after this clip he just gets domed. Like, yeah, yeah, no, it was a good it was a good clip. <laughs> teammates teammates kill him. Yeah. <laughs> it's my loot now. Thanks for the loot, Alpha. Either that or he's dying of hunger because of his tummy. Yeah, they all need water and blood. everything. They all just die there from water. That'd be hilarious. I need Help. hunger. Yeah, <laughs> Give no. me some cat food. I hungry. Note to self, <laughs> sitting inside this thing when anybody has bullets or grenades, uh, it's not a good idea. Apparently, grenades go through the walls of it too, and <laughs> you need to be you need to be crouched when going through. Yeah, this. I was about to say just stay crouched. I'm gonna stay crouched the whole time up my odds, you know. I'm gonna bring. Target. I'm gonna make sure I bring water in and food in, and I'm gonna sit in a bush and just wait until all of the bullet fire stops and that door right opens, it up. and then shoot right it. it up. That's the only <laughs> way to survive it properly, dude. It's it's you go to it. Uh uh, you, you done so, dude. You are done. Imagine uh, one day you're laying down, like you can lay down. It's implemented and you lay down in there and like they, they blow it to shreds and they're like oh he's got to be dead anyone in there is dead <laughs> yeah don't, give, don't give the people hope Woody. come on yeah yeah <laughs> then, then, then you're saying that now then we'll have some busted ass prone and people will be laying inside the green crate and they'll open up like hello mother and then just pop them in the face <laughs> make sure always make sure that you carry three drum mags uh, <laughs> Always. Full out of that. <laughs> Full out of that wall. <laughs> Back and forth, just AP rounds, that's, that's 350 rounds from me. Yeah, we get the M249 with the armor piercing and just. Do, 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 do. <laughs> <laughs> to the last one. And of course, it's the man, the myth, the legend. Good job. Think it's safe? Ah, oh, fuck it. I don't 
have the patience for this bullshit, dude. Oh my god, dude. Yeah, like, <laughs> I was I was honestly waiting for some like <laughs> yeah, just like the build up and then dun 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 open the crate and then pew, and then just fifty cal in the in the <laughs> <or something. laughs> three purple key cards in one crate. Yeah, well, is... two in the crate, one on the oh, one in the backpack. Killed. Yeah, that's right, that's right, that's right. But still, two, is... still though, like even yeah. one. Jeez, yeah. three purple key cards. I'm sad you didn't take the uh, the G36. <laughs> uh, no, wait, wait, wait. Did, he took. Wait, wait. He took the G36. Oh, no, he left but... it. It's right there. Oh, wait, wait. Hang on, hang on. He I left it on it. I could have sworn. I guarantee he... you, he left it. He grabbed the other one, didn't he? No, he left the dragon off. He... Yep, CG36. Oh, on he, his did. Chest. he did. He did. He okay, left okay. it. He left all right, the dragon off. Right. Right. I'm sad right. he left the dragon off. Dragon off's still my baby. The only game ever. <laughs> Hey, I love it. good. I, I love the dragon off, alright? I mean it's not even like good in our game. I just I just like the way it looks. It's always been a go to in games, dude. I like how he threw absolute shade at <laughs> that took down that comment. Just, just put it in the video. <laughs> the the <laughs> absolute shade. You could could add it all, but no. Can't create why don't you? <laughs> <laughs> Pretty good stuff for top five top part five. of the week. Yeah. yeah. What are we gonna do for uh, next week? Let's, let's give everybody a chance. We'll do anything goes anywhere. Just anything. Anything hey, goes. Just anything goes anywhere. All right. You can. No matter what. Submit. Do whatever. Literally anything, anything. related to Ghost of Devor, please. See you nerds next week. Bye bye. Bye bye. Thank you all for your continued support in playing Ghost of Tabor. We appreciate all of you who play our game. Now, if you want to submit any clips for next week, head to the Discord, follow the guidelines, and post away. Good luck and have a good weekend. Survive and stay alive.